Yes, 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 Kenya. Tamu sana, tamu sana, yes, tamu sana. Mm. Yesterday, Kakamega Governor Wycliffe Ambetsa Oparanya hosted James Orengo and Otiende Amolo at his Butere home, after which they proceeded to a church function and then they later held some consultative meeting for what we are told for about two hours. Then today, or rather out of all that, some details are emerging at to exactly what these people discussed. If you look at Nation newspaper today, Na Nation newspaper is trying to insinuate that upon their meeting, Ruto's name was dropped. <laughs> eh, there was a mention of Ruto's name during their meeting. And that maybe Oparanya might have just maybe advised Orengo and Otiende Amolo maybe to form a political party so that they can weigh whether to work with the ODM Raila or maybe even one William Ruto. That's what Nation newspaper today is trying to imply. But then yesterday, if you look at the tweet of James Orengo yesterday, actually James Orengo never tweeted something closer to that. And even Otiende Amolo yesterday after the church meeting, he was contacted and he also denied that maybe such a thing was discussed. So that's our discussion right now, ladies and gentlemen. Just to start with, I think the nation newspaper today mis misread the whole thing. <laughs> James Orengo and Otede Amulo, they know pretty well that they cannot form a party to rival ODM or to rival Raila in Nyanza. That's something they know pretty well. And Orengo and Otende Amolo cannot do such a thing. They know that for sure. So maybe delineation, they never did their homework properly. Mm. They never did their homework properly. Or maybe they were sponsored by some other quarters to put it that way. You know, I've always maintained in this YouTube channel that Orengo is more popular outside of Nyanza than he is actually popular in Nyanza. You know, what is currently happening in ODM concerning Orengo and Utiende Amolo is not a big issue. It's not something that should be given prime airtime. Mm? That is now being discussed that it's a very big issue. No, <laughs> it's not a very big issue as maybe the local media is trying to portray it. Mm. Orengo knows pretty well that without ODM, his, gook, his goose is cooked in Nyanza. Same to Otiende Amolo. They know that pretty well. So I think Daily Nation today must have missed that they didn't do their homework properly. Uh, even if maybe the name of Ruto was dropped, Orengo and even Otiende Amolo cannot buy such an idea. Mm. It's an idea in futility. It's only leading them to the political cause if maybe they can buy such an idea. So ladies and gentlemen, sometimes back after the after Otiende Amolo was replaced in the jailer committee, Oparanya came out in the open and said that maybe they wanted to find a way to stop all those wrangles in ODM. And their meeting yesterday was just maybe one way of trying to find out from Orengo on actually what is really happening. So I'm very, very sure that maybe they touched on that. And Oparanya might have given his side of the story and James Orengo and maybe Utiende Amolo might, might have also given their side of the story. Because sometimes back, about, about three days ago now, Otiende Amolo was at a show at NTV. So he was being, he was asked about the SMSs that he sent to Raila Amolo Odinga. Because sometimes about some days ago now, one of the local dailies carried a story of how Otiende Amolo was invited to by Raila 
for a meeting but Utende Amolo refused and instead sent some text messages to Raila Molo Odinga. So he was asked about the SMS messages he sent to Raila Molo Odinga. And he came out and he denied. Mm. And he said that they always communicate quite often with Raila Amolo Odinga, sometimes even through text messages. So he actually don't know which text message they were trying to refer to. And then he also went and confirmed that he had even talked to Raila Amolo Odinga a day before he was re removed from jail committee. And they had planned a meeting. And the meeting has not yet materialized. So maybe them visiting Oparanya, maybe they just wanted a way. Maybe they could book a meeting with maybe Raila Molo Odinga. Or maybe they could just use Governor Oparanya as maybe a mediator. Something like that. Mm. It's something like that. Then for James Orengo, I think that is going to be a vote in... So for James Orengo, I think he was also maybe on the same mission, maybe to try and find out on how maybe the wrangles can be amicably solved in ODM. So my honest opinion, ladies and gentlemen, is that the meeting between Orengo, Otede Amolo and Oparanya was not about forming a political party maybe to negotiate with one William Ruto, as Nation newspaper puts it. It was all about finding an amicable solution to end the squabbles in ODM. Because we all know, ladies and gentlemen, that if the squabbles continue, the person to lose most or the person who will come out injured seriously is none other than Orengo and Otiele Amolo. Mm. They will be injured in, in all these wrangles. So maybe they are trying to find a way of have, having some amicable solution. And now, yesterday, Orengo tweeted something. And then Kipchumba Murkomen today has also responded to what Orengo tweeted. Mm. Kipchumba Murkomen is actually now castigating James Orengo for the tweet. Mm. He's just trying to tell James Orengo that he's trying to cover up what is happening in ODM. Mm. But sometimes back, we saw Kipchumba Murkomen actually praising Orengo for his stand in opposing the BBI. But now he's coming out maybe to castigate him. Maybe, oh, <laughs> maybe this senator here, Kipchumba Murkomen, maybe they thought that they could use maybe James Orengo to achieve some political objectives. But they have just come to realize that that might not be possible. So they are coming out once more to castigate James Orengo for tweeting, for, for his tweet yesterday night. Orengo just tweeted, I think he was just trying to, <laughs> to affirm or rather to dispel some myth that maybe that is a fight in ODM, something like that. But his tweet was more poet. It was something more po poetical. Right? It was not a straightforward English tweet. So, ladies and gentlemen, let me stop there for today. So, if you missed our earlier video we did today, where we talked about David D's tweet uh, that actually was trying to call for amnesty for past corruption cases. So if you missed that video, check our earlier video today and it's a wonderful video that is currently doing so well. So folks, if you bumped on this YouTube channel for the very first time, tap on the subscription button and on the notification bell. If you are watching us outside of Kenya, please drop us a comment and let us know from which part of the globe you are watching us from. Otherwise, God bless you, God bless Kenya. And also before I forget, some people might be asking for my number or maybe you might need my number for some kind of a private chat. I've pinned my WhatsApp number on the comment section. If maybe you want to have a private chat with me or even to support this show or program, 
you can contact me through my WhatsApp number. I'll pin it down on the comment section. Otherwise, God bless you. God bless Kenya. Tamu sana, tamu sana.